Welcome to a zero k cost between in the blue with cloak bots. It's shift holder. This is in the red with amph bots. It's hat key. And well, this does not seem to be very fair. I'm going to tell you that already. One of these players has a way higher win chance compared to the other one. But I just want to cast this because, well, they're players we don't often see. Shift Holder I don't think I've actually seen around myself. So maybe they're a relatively new player who quickly climbs the ladder or only recently started playing 1v1s. Not sure. Versus Hatkeef, who, well, we have seen. But I feel like we've seen them more in team games rather than 1v1s. Alright, so over here, Shift Holder, starting with a Reaver and a couple of Ronins, which is really interesting. Because normally it's all Raider, Raider, Raider. And only later on you transition into other units. But no, they're actually going like four Glaives, two Ronins, one Reaver. And like, Conjurer. Really interesting. And on this map, going shield bots isn't a bad thing. I wouldn't say that. But amph bots tends to be better, I want to say. Just because of this water, where they can heal up a little bit. So, yeah, I do think amph bots will have a little bit of an advantage. I don't think this water is deep enough for the cloak bots to like uncloak so that shouldn't be a problem okay so ducks already taking decent engagement i want to say or oh, even though like attrition says otherwise and i'm not sure why expansion way better for hatkeef as well Possibly because of this like weird Ronin Reaver start. Not sure. Actually double Reaver already. And very da damaged. Contra. I mean sure. Maybe it's to have very safe expansion with your Contras. But I feel double Glaive per Constructor is only like 130. Yeah 130 metal. And let's check. Yeah, no, they don't uncloak, decloak. This is like 210 for a Reaver. I mean, it's able to hold off way more Raiders. But even just two Glaives per Constructor is decently well defended. And I mean, this one doesn't even have any defense. They can still run through here with Raiders. So I don't really see why you want Reavers already. I don't see it, which honestly might be a reason why I'm like, well, they might be a new player because maybe their late game is way better, but they aren't using like the standard openings, which pretty much everyone else is using. I'm not sure. So economy actually quite even right now. Shift holder has caught up a little bit. But Hatkeef now with a little bit of overdrive is a little faster fusion -y already. I mean, that's also something you don't often see. Though fusion on this map isn't uncommon. I feel this early is quite uncommon. And here we have the composition Hatkeef seems to want to go for. Bowies, Bulkhead, Limpet and Archers. I mean, sure. They're not using... A repeat queue though. Which is something that some players just don't use. I know that. But still. It makes it way easier. To keep units producing. So we might actually have a little bit of, of access from Hatkeef later on in the game. When things get hectic and they're not using auto queue. Repeat queue. We might. We might not. Over here. Repeat is on. So. Buoys, skirmishers, and archers, which is like a raider riot, coming out. 
And, well, yeah, you don't really have any other riots that you wanted to get out. And already you can see they're starting to, like, save up quite a bit. And... Wait, did you try... what? It seems a waste. Seems like a waste to terraform. But I mean, it's not that much, so who cares? Okay. So, over here, well, Ronin's Reavers, Glaives. I mean, it's fine. Just seemed a bit early. But by this stage of the game, you might actually want to get some out. Some Reavers and some Ronins. Just a standard Riot Skirmisher Ball. And over here, Skirms, both of these skirm factories don't actually have like homing skirmishers which well does make it so that your uh glaives can just run in and same thing goes for archers of course without getting hit at all okay so buoys of course with slow should be decent and limpet seemed a bit of a waste Limpet is still 160 metal. And archers now running in with a bit of dodging and such. They should be able to do a decent job. Over here, Ronins. Not attack moved in, which is a bit strange. Especially for skirms. But now they are at least attacking the archer, which also semi attacks move. Attack moves. Over here, the big fight, well, big-ish fight. Buoys seem to be going down, but are healing 17 or 10, depending on where they are, so like 10 to 20 metal uh, HP per second, which might not seem like a big deal, but in long drawn-out fights it is. Reavers do also have, I believe it's 20 per second regen. Let's see your one second. There you go. Oh, 15. Over here, conch. Yep, conch should go down soon. And, well. Fight is actually kind of even. First shift holder pushes, then head give pushes. Economy also quite even, except for the energy, but that doesn't really matter. I mean... For a clockpot player, it could matter, but not really for Mpot. So, here Glaives moving in and are able to get at least one or two kills. Here, still with a little bit of a dodge, attack moved. They are able to do a good job just because, well, Bowies don't home. And this is approximately what you want if you're uh, clockpots. You want scums and you want riot, and that's pretty standard. Probably are going to see a couple of knights move in here as well later on, if it goes that late. And over here, well, duck moving in against reavers. Not great normally. Oh well. Also, hey, there we have them. Reavers from the air switch should be able to do a decent job. But, well, yeah, running straight over the Reavers isn't great with their, like, 300 DPS. And all of them go down before reaching the factory. Because I think that's where you want to go. Over here, Commander is just a level 1 engineer. Should be able to dodge decently. But, yeah, it's just a level 1 engineer. Running in a straight line against... These things, these Ronins, no, that's not what you want to do. And you're dead. There you go. So, is that it? I mean, the air switch has been stopped. You could say, Commander has died. You don't have that many units here if you're a headkeeve. Are you going to call it? Economy, way better for shift holder now. Attrition, way better for them. Do you still have a trick up your sleeve or do you not? Because that's what you need right now. You need a trick. In a straight fight, you're not going to win. 
Not even with Riot against Raiders. That's pretty much how bad it is. They've got double the economy. They've got more than double attrition. And now they should just be able to move in. Sad. Hatkeef, sad. I'm lag. Really? Oh yeah, 300 ping. And 266, I mean... Then it should be quite even. And Limpet, still trying the best, but... Well. Gets the slowdown on a Conjurer, but that's about it. Reclaim over here is quite a lot, but... Yeah, Hatkeef isn't going to get that. Shift holder is, and that should only increase their chance of winning. And even though Hatkeef has the higher badge, I guess you can say, both in terms of level and color, yeah, they were indeed not the player who was favored to win. It was about 90 to 10 for Shift Holder. Who has a very nice line of units over here? So. Are you going to call it Handkeef, or are you just going to let them destroy everything? Well, no you didn't. You were resigning. Alright, so well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Economy was actually quite good for Hatkeev at first, but at the later stages, Shift Holder really did start to pick up steam. And of course that attrition really didn't help Hatkeev.